Tonight we begin with Kailua residents. They've been asking for a left turn arrow at a light they say is notoriously dangerous. It's been that way for years, but the city says the intersection doesn't quite warrant the change. I reached out to the city to find out exactly what is needed in order to make changes to an existing traffic signal. This is the intersection of Kailua Road and Hamakua Drive in Kailua. It happened Sunday night just after 9 p.m. Those who live and work nearby say incidents like this are common there. You often get dinner and a show on the back patio from this intersection. Lindsay Diamond owns Kalapawai Market and Cafe located right on the corner. I've seen a lot of T-bones here, definitely a lot of horns and near misses, and you hear a lot of brakes screeching. I've seen that intersection as an incredibly dangerous spot. I'm told the problem is there are no left turn signals for drivers traveling into Kailua on Kailua Road to make a left onto Kainehe Street or for those townbound on Kailua Road to make a left onto Hamakua Drive. So cars inch forward with limited visibility to oncoming traffic and often get stuck in the intersection and are forced to turn on the red. I drive past that. Uh, intersection every day going to work and coming back from work so I know exactly how bad it is. Kia Aina, Kassler and Diamond all say they try to avoid that light when they can. Council member Esther Kia Aina says that she's asked the city's Department of Transportation Services a number of times to add left turn signals to this intersection and she says those requests continue to be denied. In August 2019, the Kailua Neighborhood Board says they unanimously passed a resolution asking the city to put in left turn signals there as well. According to DTS, they received five requests in the past three years. And they say there were only three crashes there in the past three years. Two of them due to someone making a left turn. According to HPD, there was a fatal crash in 2021 when a 22-year-old female motorcycle passenger was killed after colliding with another vehicle. So why won't the city install a left turn arrow at the traffic signal? DTS says their recent assessment of the intersection shows the traffic collision history and traffic volume minimums were not met. I have to just tell you that I'm very disappointed. I think that the department has to reconsider um, their decision. What is it going to take? DTS says in order to install a left turn signal at an existing intersection, there are certain requirements, which include four uncorrectable major crashes involving left turns within a 12-month period. I think the city needs to revisit what they deem necessary. I think one life lost is too many. The Department of Transportation Services says they cannot get full federal funding to install or update signals unless data shows they meet specific criteria.